Hi, I'm Dr. Susanna Bazzoni, and I want to talk to you about fasting mimicking diet from the work of Walter Longo, Dr. Walter Longo, and either Promon or El Nutra, or you could do a similar thing through Whole Foods on your own, um, which is just low calorie for five days. El Nutra is for diabetes reversal for type two diabetics. Um, and, um, Prolon is for anyone as long as um, you meet the criteria, right? So if you're underweight or have an eating disorder, this is probably not the thing for you. But I want to tell you about my experience. I'm on day four of the five day fasting mimicking and day one to two were kind of irritating, right? I was really hungry. I was really tired going into the evening of day two, which is really kind of the fat burning area. And then day three, I woke up kind of feeling like garbage. But um, around 10.30 or 11 a.m., I started feeling like energy and having been really, really hungry and a little bit more irritable and super tired on day three, while I was hungry, it kind of stopped bothering me. I felt really clean and I had good energy and I had good um, thought processes, right? And, and so, and today's day four and I still feel really good. I'm not craving food. Food has a huge power over me for sure. I love eating and I love exercise, Whoa, right? So it's been kind of a, at first very shocking to think, all right, I'm gonna feel depleted, super hungry, kind of irritable and stop my exercise routine for quote health, right? What is the reason? Well, now I see, right? Cause this is about autophagy. It's about cleaning off those those uh, cleaning out those bad cells and, and re regeneration, metabolic reset, but it also has this amazing power to uh, realize what you think you need, what I thought I needed and how much I was afraid of being hungry, right? So if there's some kind of emotional fear linked with the food or the food has a lot of power over you, um, there's just something really remarkable about this. And so I really uh, would encourage you to work with your own provider based on your medical needs because it does need to be overseen, particularly if you're on certain medications. But um, it's really amazing. I'm on day four. Tomorrow's my last day. I, if I think about it, I'm hungry, but it doesn't bother me. I'm sitting and having my fasting mimicking meals with my family who's having really delicious looking food, but it's okay, right? And it's just incredible to, to have that change. Um, I have added in a little bit of very gentle restorative yoga, which has been lovely. And I found that this is something about fasting and meditating. Hmm. It goes really well together. So um, strangely, I've had cravings for fasting and meditating. Yes, of meditating in the morning. And that's been historically a struggle for me, but it goes so hand in hand and it's been really empowering um, it's helped with insight and I hope that's helpful for you um, to know, to question, what do we really need? What has power over us? How could we change our relationship with it? This might be something to consider. Have a great day.